welcome back to my channel my name is Asveen Kaur and today I am doing something different I am painting on something that's not usually painted but is always used when we are painting something so if you guys have any guesses I am painting on a paintbrush that's right I'm using a bigger wall paintbrush that has a lot more surface area than just a regular paintbrush that I use for my paintings but yeah and this idea is inspired by one of my favorite artists Mora Elizabeth so if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out and this is inspired by her so let's get to it So here is our paintbrush and first thing we gotta clean these hairs that are coming out of the band out so I'm trimming the hairs from the paintbrush and getting out all the unwanted ones. Prepping for the painting is a really important part so yeah uh, trimming out each of the hairs that are not required is also important. Next prepping step would be me sanding out the paintbrush handle because of course i want my paint to last long and stick to it properly so i am going to use my sanding cube and i am sanding the paintbrush handle right now i am trying to get rid of all the shiny glaze that is on the handle and is uh, on there as a protective coat Next step in my preparation is applying white gesso on the entire handle along with the metal plate which was a bad idea and you guys will see later why. Anyways, midway of starting my painting I realized I should tape the bristles and then I did the same. I taped out all the bristles and then started going with gesso again all over the paintbrush. Then it was time to handle the bristles of the paintbrush and I had these fabric paints that I wanted to try out so what I did is I picked out rainbow colors and started painting on the bristles. I chose rainbow as my color scheme because Mariah she is the queen of rainbows and candies and desserts so i wanted to give a little touch of her because painting on paint pressures was her idea so here it is and i wasn't sure how this was gonna turn out and i did not know what to expect with these paint pressures since they are from dollarama and uh, i don't know what to like how pigmented this paint would be and how this would react so i just let it sit there and i painted on both the sides front and the back and then i just waited for a little more time for it to dry and washed it out so this is what it turned out as and the paint colors were not that pigmented but it gave a really nice look of pastel color rainbows and pastel rainbows are what Mora is all about so i think i achieved my point here after the bristles were done it was time to go ahead and tackle the handle so i wanted to make a character out of the handle and i wanted to give it the bristles of the paintbrush a look as his hair and uh, i went ahead and mixed up my paint of however i want and i tried making the skin tone i wanted and it took me three to four tries but i eventually got there but still there must be a problem so here it comes my gesso started peeling off from the metal portion of the paintbrush so i went off camera and did it again and i did a few paint coats directly on the metal plate instead of using gesso so this is how it turned out then it was time to deal with the rest of the character so i decided to give him a pink colored shirt and a blue colored jeans so i am painting the pink colored shirt with all of the details that i can right now like the shape of the collar and how i want how deep i want the 
my client to be and how much surface area do i want to cover with the shirt and how much area do i want the face so this is where i am deciding all of that while i make sure that all the proportions are correct i also did a couple coats of blue and pink since my blue wasn't coming off as pigmented as the other colors i had to do a little more than two coats so after i was done painting the base colors it was time for the details so i used a white acrylic marker which i thought that gave a really nice outline so i ended up going over all the clothing items with the white acrylic marker and i made all the outlines that were necessary accordingly this was my first time using an acrylic marker on an actual project and i did not realize how easy it is to outline with acrylic marker compared to a regular paintbrush because the size of the outline remains constant entire time well after i was done with the clothing it was time to tackle the face and i did not want the previous thing to happen again the peel off of paints or anything so i just went with a simple design on the face i did some black sunglasses and a teeny tiny smirk on the side with some cute little eyebrows as well i gave him a gray bandana and some rosy cheeks and a little teeny tiny nose as well because um of course why not teeny tiny things look cute so i did that and it was done i then added a glaze on top of the entire handle of the brush and yeah that's it i did it and it looks really nice and i will keep looking at my mr paintbrush on the side of my table in my pencil stand I hope you guys like it and I will see you guys the next time. Until then, take care and don't forget to subscribe.